Welcome back, this is the Jack, and today we've got Gunslinger Suicidal Farmhouse. Not a fan of Farmhouse, really, but sometimes the random picks what the random picks. And that's most of the time. Here we go. These days, I, I pretty much just let it do random whenever it wants. I don't really care what map we're playing on, because, I mean, you know what? I'm sure to you guys, the gameplay isn't really the main focus, necessarily, and to me, the gameplay's not the main focus, either. It's kind of faded away into the background as I play it now. The point where the game doesn't feel right to play if I'm not uh, commentating on it. It's not that I play it and then commentate, it's that if I'm playing it, I'd like to be commentating. <laughs> you know, if I'm, if I'm playing it and I'm not commentating on anything, I'm like, I don't know. I could be recording an episode right now. <laughs> I, could be, I could be making content. I don't know, I also I don't play it often. Um, Besides, uh, when I have to for recording, which lately has been very irresponsibly timed, but <laughs> that's okay. It's only the eight. It's only the eight p.m. Uh, releases that are being affected by it. And I mean, I'll be honest with you. When I take a look at the uh, the uh, metrics on it, anyway, the eight p.m. one is never really doing that well, anyway. Even when it goes up in time, you know. Even then, it's not. It's not really. Why did it go all the way around there? I thought it would have been fine. Whatever. It's not really the uh, the one that you guys get the most excited about. It's not really the one that you guys tend to to watch the most consistently. It's funny because as I go through my my list of videos, uh, it'll actually kind of like be uh, you know seven to twelve to even more than that, and then like three views. And it'll just keep alternating back and forth as it goes back and forth between, uh... Uh... God, I can't shoot. These new, these new, uh... Well, not the, the, the original models. They just, they're, they're messing with me. Um... Anyway, so as I, uh... What was I talking about? As, I, as, as it goes down and it kind of, like, alternates between the 8 a.m. and the 8 p.m. Um, videos. The, the views kind of keep going up and down as well, reflecting that. You can actually kind of almost tell whether a video is a uh, 8 a.m. or an 8 p.m. release just based on how many views it has. Solely. No other information. I could, uh, I'd, I'd have, uh, well, I'd tell you I'd have more than a 50% success rate. I don't think I'd be getting up to like 90% success rate, but maybe like 60, 70. You know, the information is there. It's fairly consistent, but uh, the 8 p.m. releases also sometimes do pretty poorly, and the 8 a.m. releases also sometimes do pretty well. Um, but, you know, whatever. It's okay, it's okay. I really like the Glock. Ever since I discovered that you can uh, toggle off the um, full auto, it's been so nice. It's been so nice ever since I ever since I realized that. Since I learned that information, it's been very freeing. Because I don't have to only use the deagles anymore. You know, before with with full auto on the Glock, it was like I don't know. You know, it's nice. It's fun. It's not. It's not really comparable to the deagle. With this though, it does, I, in my opinion, bring it up uh, a little bit more in line with the deagle because you can control. That spread a little bit easier. That accuracy problem, the spread, the recoil, you know, all that kind of stuff. That uh, isn't really the, the biggest deal in the world, but definitely is a problem, for sure. It's not the biggest problem, though. Be naive to, to, to imply that it's not a problem at all. Yeah, because I, I can I can maintain. We'll, we'll we'll try a little bit here, okay? I can maintain the uh, the recoil pretty well, but you just you end up firing like three shots into a crawler. You end up firing way too many shots into whatever it is that you're shooting, you know? Like that was a a, a, a clot, you know? Just like as quickly as I can tap and I'm firing off like multiple bullets, you know? I just don't need that kind of uh, raw bullet output, you know? It's not necessary. I don't need that kind of power in my life. It feels. It feel. I guess it doesn't really um, change 
my ability to kill. Well, it kind of does, because I end up reloading less frequently, which is actually like a, a really, really, really noticeable benefit sometimes when, uh, when you end up having just like significantly reduced, uh, like bullet usage, you know? Very nice. Um, however, the, the damage is definitely lackluster compared to the tier 5 deagles. No denying that, no denying that. Doesn't really matter. We don't really need, uh, you know what, we'll take the deagles just to make sure that we have ammunition, but as I was just explaining, we're not going to have any ammunition problems. I can control the recoil and all that, it just it feels, it feels like I have more control when I, when I put it onto single fire mode, mult, uh, but, uh, that's important, you know, it's all about the feel, the gun feel, how, how, how the game feels and plays and, you know, farmhouse, not doing so hot on most of those in my opinion. It's not a very good map. I just, I don't like the fog and all that. I know I've had this rant a billion times at this point. Every time we play on farmhouse, really. I just don't like it. I love it in a group when you're like hunkered up or hunkered down up in the barn. Up on those stairs, and you got your your team, you know, handling the uh, the top, you know, back spawns, and then you got your your dudes kind of chilling out at the bottom. Like that is just that's some of the most satisfying gameplay in the world, in my opinion, genuinely. Uh, like this map on a, on a team that's not terrible is is some of the best stuff. I like playing as medic, handling back spawns, and keeping people alive. Um, personally, that's that's my goal. Demo is also pretty fun. You get to just kind of destroy all of the the Zeds that swarm in. You you weld up that one door, and they're all coming in from the one door, so you can kind of, or from the uh, the big you know barn doors, and you can kind of keep them grouped up and just destroy them. It's oh, it's it's really good stuff, honestly. Really really good stuff. However, solo. I'm not confident enough to, to pull off that kind of gameplay, uh, especially since you do have the back spawns. They're, they're not very weak back spawns necessarily either. You get clots, crawlers, I believe stalkers as well, maybe the odd, I don't think you can get sirens. Um, but you, you do get uh, stalkers, so edars at times as well, um, which, you know, are not a uh, nobody, right? They're not a nobody. Got an itch everywhere right now and I'm being a little bit arrogant as I uh, don't pause to itch it. Just got the one hand on the mouse to, to keep us alive here. Anyway, I don't I don't have the confidence necessary to to make those kinds of plays on uh, on a single player match. But multiplayer. Oh, baby. There's just something special about just sitting right up here. I go right here as the healer, as the medic, you know, the rest of the group sits uh, right here a little bit, like a commando typically sitting right around here, um, and I can kind of walk back to get some you know, heals on this person as well, popping uh, heads and crawlers and whatever kind of stuff manages to get through. You got your uh, big boys demos and stuff like that, typically a sharpshooter back there as well maybe. Oh, it just, it, it feels, feels good you know oh no feels good really does I love it you're keeping them all love I love I love the medic playstyle but in, uh, in solo matches I've definitely kind of uh, moved on from the medic I used to think that medic was in my opinion the most fun solo class since moving up to uh, primarily suicidal now or even hell on earth at times um, medic, it's not really, uh, my cup of tea for solo. For groups, I think that medic is still my favorite class. I just, I love, I love, uh, I love when you know that you carried as a medic, you know? Sometimes you play matches as a medic and you're like, this team probably could have got by without me. You know? You know, you, you probably would have been better fit as, like, a commando with, uh, with a 401 or something. You know, just to clear out some of the the spawn and provide some additional, um, like Z time or whatever. You know, you're like they they probably would have been just fine without uh, without a medic. But sometimes, 
uh, especially when you're playing on higher difficulties, almost always when you're playing on higher difficulties. Um, you know, you get to the end and you're like, yeah, you know, I didn't, not, not, not always carried, but sometimes you're like, oh yeah, I carried, but uh, you're always like, oh yeah, I had, I had a noticeable impact on this match. Like without you there, they would have had a much, much, much harder time. Like you, you pulled your way. Like medic is one of the few classes that uh, more than pulls its weight. You know, you got um, because as as you get new, just more players in a match. You know, you end up having stronger Zeds to fight, right? Like you have stronger Zeds to fight and. Uh, more Zeds to fight, more Zeds at a time to fight. Like, everything kind of scales up as you get more people in a match, right? Um, most perks, I feel like, contributes as much as they add, for the most part. You know, and and uh, a good team makeup definitely contributes something as well. So you kind of get, like, a little extra there, and it makes it even easier. Once you have like a good team that knows what they're doing and it kind of works together, that's definitely like another step. But most perks, I feel like uh, you join and, and you're contributing, you know, one person's worth of help, right? And and you might not feel like it. You might not feel like it, right? Because you got uh, you're playing as a sharpshooter, or whatever. You're like, ah, I'm only getting like you know a couple of kills a wave here, really. You know, you're not really doing too much and the commando is getting like 100 kills every time well, it's just different roles right like the commando would have a lot more trouble killing all of those uh scrakes and flush pounds and quarter pounds and everything right whereas you as the uh let's go with the glock whereas you with the uh sharpshooter you're, you're gonna be having a much easier time with those but you'd be having trouble with all the trash so it's not like you're killing all of the zeds that you're adding but you're pulling your weight you know you're 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 doing about as much to it as you're making it difficult, you know. So like uh, just a kind of haphazardly thrown together team, as long as everybody's able to win individually and isn't like terribly stupid, I feel like typically you're gonna end up with with about as the same success rate as you would uh, with um, like whoever whoever the lowest person is. So let's let's put it this way. You take a, a random group of people with any perks, not including a medic, right? And uh, no, like, team cohesion, but uh, no, no, uh, like, super good team cohesion. You know, they're, they're at least staying together and helping each other and stuff, but they're not, uh, you know, they're not, like, a eSports team or something like that, you know? Like, they're, they're acceptable, but not, uh, just randoms, right? Just randoms. I feel like uh, you're going to be ending up winning with uh, the same success rate, generally speaking, as uh, the lowest common denominator. So if you know if somebody winning is is winning, you know, only like one every four Hell on Earth matches with that team, you're probably only going to win one every four uh, Hell on Earth matches, just because that's the lowest common denominator, right? And uh, pretty much, no matter how good you are at your perk. Um, I feel like you're pretty much stuck with with that lowest common denominator, right? Um, a couple perks kind of can kind of pull a little bit more weight, like Gunslinger, uh, Demo as well, um, Firebug can if you're really good. You know, and obviously if you're like really, really good at what you're doing, then uh, you, can, you can pull some more weight. But Medic, I feel, is one of those classes where it's, uh, it definitely adds more than uh more than uh just what it brings you know uh so you know same same random group of people one of them's a medic you're probably winning more than than one every four games now right just just because you have that medic to kind of uh fix those mistakes to a certain extent and make you a little bit more powerful and the medic is also pulling its own weight killing off some of the smaller sets and Letting the commando or wherever focus more on uh, keeping the sharpshooter, or berserkers, or whatever kind of safe for the crawlers and stalkers and all that kind of stuff, right? Um. Anyway, so med medic, it just, it, just it, it feels so good in a group because uh, 
As long as you're not bad. As long as you're not a bad medic, you know, right side medics. Look, if you want to play a right side medic, you go for it. Just tell people first so that they can leave. <laughs> play it in solo. Play it in solo. Or in low difficulties, okay? Um, anyway, so... Uh, medics, they just they just feel so good to play because you know that you're, you're pulling your weight. You know, and not everybody in the group knows that you're pulling your weight. A lot of people disagree with that. A lot of people think that medics. Um, a lot of people would be like, "Oh, you know, the medic isn't getting." Oh, the thing that I see so much when I join a game is, uh, you know, I'll be playing as commando or something like that, and the medic will just suck, right? And I'll be like, "Hey, medic, you know, could you focus on healing a little bit more?" And the medic's like, "I'm getting more kills than you." I'm like, "Yeah, but you're a medic. You're you're a medic." You're not a killer. You're a medic. Well, you're not dying, are you? I'm like, well, we'd be having a lot easier time right now. If, you know? See, every, everybody in a, in a random match typically goes, uh, you know, contribution by, uh, you know, who's who's at the top, who's got the most kills. You know, that's, that's your contribution. Right? Whereas it's a lot more than that. It's a lot more nuanced. You know, you'll have... I shouldn't have bought all. Could have got some decals. It's a lot more nuanced than that, right? Like like I was saying earlier, you know, the you add a sharpshooter into the mix, and now you've got uh, you know more said all varieties coming in. The commando is going to be getting most of those added kills. The sharpshooter is probably going to be going for most of the big zeds or even maybe medium zeds, um, you know, and uh, getting significantly less kills. They're both pulling the weights of their individual class, you know, because now the commando has to take down less of those big zeds, um, which is is easier for it, and the, the sharpshooter has to take down less of the small zeds, which is easier for it as well, because now it has to spend less on ammunition and weapons, it can make sure that it focuses on what's really important for it, and yada yada yada, you know, it's all got roles, right? So the end of the match, I want to make sure, I want, I want the commando to have the most kills, if the commando doesn't have the most kills, then the team sucks. I'm just saying it. I'm just saying it. Now this changes once you get into uh, like controlled difficulty and stuff like that, um, because you're not like like at the super high difficulty. The the difference between perks isn't necessarily your role, although it is to a certain extent as well. Um, it's 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 more about like Z time management. Um, so your sharpshooter is also going to be killing a ton of small zeds, you know, probably going to have uh, something that it can handle that with. Your, your gunslinger is going to be handling probably an entire lane by itself for the most part, um, possibly requesting some some ice or something from the sharpshooter or whatever. But 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 the team composition is is mostly resolved around getting zed time as much as possible and extending it as much as possible, you know, to make sure that. Uh, the Berserker or a Demo or Gunslinger or whatever can, can really dish out uh, that damage during that Zed time to keep people going, right? And uh, team composition, once once you start stepping up into the really, like, really, really hard stuff, kind of kind of changes. And, uh, you know, the, the, the whole, like, you know, roles thing kind of kind of shifts. There is, there's still roles, of course. There's still roles. You know, as a as a medic, if you're running out there and shooting down all of the, we're really not going to get tier five deagles. I would rather have tier five deagles than a tier one Glock. Um, you know, as a medic, if you're running out there and shooting down all the scrakes and flesh pounds or whatever, you're not doing very good. Um, but you know, the ro the roles kind of shift, but they're still there. You know, anyway. My my uh, my point is that medic is a really fun class. If you guys haven't played medic in an online kind of thing, like do it. It's it's not a very hard class to do. Just just genuinely worry about uh, keeping small zeds, clots, crawlers. You know those those kinds of things off of your uh, team. Grab the 401. That is your main healing weapon. That is your like best. That is the best weapon as a medic. Okay. Like if I'm if I'm joining a match and the medic is commonly picking up the in in the the incision and uh, like the SMG, I know a couple of people go with that build. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll finish the match. I'm not staying around. You're not you're not a good healer. You're, you're not you're not you're not you're not pulling your weight there. 
very well, you know. Um, the 401 is like the best weapon for the medic. Now, uh, I might have changed with the mine reconstructor, but I doubt it. Also, a couple of changes to the medic have happened, but my, my information might be a little bit outdated. But uh, regardless, join a match, you know, hard, maybe suicidal if you're confident. Um, medic, grab the 401 and uh, either a shoddy uh, or 501 um, or an SMG or whatever you want. The, the 401 is the most important part. Uh, and then uh, focus on healing and keeping the, the small stuff off your, your teammates. You will feel so good when you're done. Cause you'll you'll see them like dipping. You'll see their health dipping, and like they'll be dying. And then you'll dump your darts into them, and then they'll be like done. Whatever they had uh, going on, handled. And you know that you you did that. All those kills they just got, that was you doing that. They would have died. You kept them alive. They got those kills. Those kills are yours. Okay. I'm just I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.